Welcome to Fala Engineering Video Series. Let's get started. We got them on the run. Hi, it's me again. David from Fall Engineering, welcome back. Let's talk. I'm going to I'm going to talk about casinos and hotels in the same breath. Because casinos and hotels are generally the same thing. Not all ho casinos have hotels and all hotels have casinos. But the majority do. But they do have something in common. People and food. Casinos once again, large box. Storage storage coming in the back. Doors that stay open 24 hours a day, especially mostly in Vegas, I guess. Um, they have people coming in and out. They have extensive parking. Extensive parking. Um, these are cars. Extensive parking. But they also have utility rooms and basements. And they have drop ceilings. A drop ceiling is a rat haven. Okay. Basement. Rat Haven. Okay. Now, most most of those places have some sort of food vending. Most hotels I go to, not motels, but hotels. Hotels have motels have many machines. We got that covered too. But hotels usually have a vending area, or they have a small restaurant. So now you have to deal with a restaurant. Okay. You have up and down. Elevators. Okay. You also have um, chutes for laundries. I'll tell you an interesting story. One time we were on vacation and we had bought some fish. And I took the fish out of the room, walked it back, and I put it down the chute. I thought it was a trash chute. <laughs> it wasn't. It was a laundry chute. Luckily, me and the guy who ran the uh, hotel maintenance were talking earlier because I like buildings. So him and I went downstairs and the poor little fish were laying there like they were in a bed, just relaxing. <laughs> and uh, I, I profusely apologized to the guy. And he said, I'm just so glad that you were honest because had the morning crew came and saw that fish, it, it, all hell would have broke loose. So... I accidentally used the chute that went down the laundry room. Well, the rats are not accidentally used. It's not an accident they're going to use them. They're going to get in them. You have chutes. We also, a lot of restaurants, I mean, a lot of uh, hotels and casinos that are multi-story also have trash chutes. They also have a trash. Usually, for some reason, the trash is really close to the building in the back. I don't know why. Um... I don't know why, it usually is. Sometimes it's further out, but it's usually very close to the building. Very bad idea. Once again, we're gonna come through. We're gonna evaluate your hotel. We're gonna evaluate your casino. We're gonna, we're gonna, we have traps. This is really cool. We have traps that look like trash cans. It looks like a little trash can. It's kind of cool. The trap can be in the lobby next to the door and no one would ever know because the input of the trap is behind the trap. And it's really cool because not only do the traps are incognito and your, and your guests won't know about it, but <laughs> the trash that's collected in the trash can in the first part of the trash can actually enhances the effectiveness of the trap. Because when they, when they get there, they're going to go to the back of the machine. They're going to go they're gonna back and, they, and they'll be where the machine is. And they're going to go up into the machine and we're going to capture them. We can put them behind counters. We can put them in closets. We can put them outside. Hell, I can hang it against the wall. There's lots of places we can put the 100%. The exterior traps go, go against the side, once again, to protect you from the wave. They're not poison. Please don't poison animals. It doesn't work out. So that's how we cover casinos and hotels. And right now, 
a lot of hotels are starting to get inundated with rats in cities. And the reason why they're getting inundated with rats is because the rat population is steadily growing and they're starting to push out and they're going to areas they normally wouldn't go. Also, hotels are getting older. A lot of hotel, also a lot of hotels are old. And once again, every hotel has a crack in the basement, has a crack along the wall, has a crack here. Now, to give you an idea, a hole this big, that hole right there can take a full-size male rat. This hole is an inch and a quarter. It's an inch and a quarter. One inch, one and a quarter inches. A rat can get in there. A mouse would even look at the hole. It would go right past it. Also, the rats are going to tunnel. They're going to be in this elevator shaft. And the main thing I noticed, all these shafts here, they go down the bottom. They, they go down the basement, and they're open. They go down the trash, and they're open. Rats are going to come right up this and go down and go to different floors. And there's some places, like some casinos, the food is on the top floor, or the food is over here. Once again, where there's a butt, there's a sandwich, there's a rat. So that's how we covered hotels, casinos. Any questions, let us know. Once again, we'll be more than happy to work with your architect. Once again, thank you, David, Fall Engineering. Thanks, all right? All right, here we go.